Alrighty, then we're ready for step three. Everybody say yippee skippy. Yippee skippy. Okay, very good. Now you're on the internet. Now we have to find the horizontal asymptote singular. There won't be two of them. We can have more than one vertical asymptote. We might not have any, but we can have more than one. But on horizontals, we can only have one. So the way we want to find it is we want to use the highest power of the x value in the numerator. We're going to call it n. And we want to use the highest power of x in the denominator. We're going to call it m. So these are called degrees. So degrees are your largest powers. This is largest power of the top, largest power of the bottom. So find n and m. Now the problem we're working on, the numerator is negative 4, so there was no x up there, so n was 0. And m is, is the, cof or the power of x, so that's 1. Okay, three things can happen. So here's the three things that can happen. n might be smaller than m. So this is the biggest power in the top is smaller than the biggest power in the bottom. So if n is less than m, then the ha stands for, that's not the joke of the day, that's horizontal acid, asymptote. It's always y equals zero is the horizontal asymptote when you have case one. Now, if there was only one case, then this would be easier. So you got to figure out what case you've got. So you want to compare the degrees of numerator and denominator. Here's the second case. That's when you have the same degree in the top and in the bottom. N and M are equal. And if that's true, then the horizontal asymptote is the ratio of leading coefficients. So the leading coefficient is the number that's in front of the biggest power. So it could be any number. If you had if you start off 3x squared, the leading coefficient would be 3. It's just x squared, the leading coefficient would be 1. And a ratio is you make a fraction out of the leading coefficients, whatever they are. That's case 2. In case three, when n is bigger, there is not a horizontal asymptote, but a slant one. These are the ones a little harder, because in order to find that slant asymptote, we divide the denominator into the numerator using long division. And uh, this is often it'll turn out in y equals mx plus b form, which is good for us. We know how to graph that. Okay, so on our example of above, n was 0 and m was 1, so n was smaller, and the horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Everybody repeat after me, over and out. Over and out.